How about now? Can you hear me? And Nika. <laughs> Yay! Okay, good. I don't know which camera I am talking to you through. Um, let me turn this down just a little bit because it's peaking and clipping on my side. Um, okay. Let me see if I can get this working for validation. Okay. Okay, perfect. Everything appears to be working. Samsara has redeemed the early crew of the second stream. <laughs> what caused a famously colored lake in Australia to suddenly change its appearance without... Or change its appearance? Find out when the ads end. I'm going to try to get my other uh, microphone back up and running while the ads are running. Buffer, that's all working. I think I need to put Kern back in full screen mode. That would use less, uh, less power. Um, damn, you got away with it. <laughs> Well, don't worry. We haven't cleared the credits, so you will be there as both successful and losing your head. Um, app? No, you're still not coming back? Okay, let me try the controller. I'm trying to get my preferred microphone. Right now we're talking to you through one of my many camera microphones. Which, I mean, it doesn't sound terrible for as bad as it actually is. But if I could get the regular microphone going, that would be better. Oh, it moved. How about that? There, there we, we go. go. Yay! Okay, we're back to the primary microphone. It's not the credits I want! <laughs> As I was saying, I need to do something more fun for the original one. Um, oh, and I know why that didn't work. Okay, I can fix the VTuber now. Uh, Brio, Brio, where are you? Chatting scene. You deactivate. Okay, you come up. Oh, you might get to see my VTuber momentarily naked. <laughs> um, so my computer blue screened uh, as soon as we smashed the blue crystal. And I don't know how far back it's going to be because, of course, I haven't hit the save button. So let's hope that it's not too far back. There we go. Now I can go turn off that. And we can go back to game time and turn off. Where are you? There you are. There we go. Okay, so this is back. We're going to be able to pull up the game again here in just a moment. Australia's Pink Lake, known for its distinct pink hue due to algae and bacteria, unexpectedly turned blue in 2010. Intriguing scientists. Oh, that is interesting. We end up with a lot of blue-green algae here, so. Very, very curious. I think I need another cooler for my PC. <laughs> I think that's what I need. Like, a full-on air conditioner for the poor thing. I honestly think that my, um... I think my CPU reached a cautionary temperature and shut itself down just to prevent damage. Because it was running real hot once we went into windowed mode. So we'll get this loaded up. We'll go back to full screen mode. And it will be just fine. Just put it next to an open window. Yeah, especially since... It's it's not snowing right now, but it did snow today. 
Let's go graphics, go back to full screen, apply. Now it looks giant. Then we go game capture. You need to shrink back down to normal size. Obvious needs a snap to layer. I do have a floating desktop. Yeah, I'll take that out of there. Hi, floating desktop. We also have a floating Samsara hanging out in the queue. Quite literally. Um, for about three more minutes. <laughs> That's okay, though. All right. We are fully back. Let's get the game loaded up computer seems much happier and I won't worry about the notes for now oh I don't need to worry about the notes because the notes that we had were just for that last puzzle and we managed to get through it just fine so we're we are in good shape that was quite the uh quite the experience there um the CPU in uh Oh, no, she was going crazy um, when you saw my PNG tuber blinking and everyone was saying we can't hear you. I'd stop talking and she was doing all of the talking for us at that point. She's actually outside right now. I had to turn around and look because she was behind me, but she's back outside again. She is barking at somebody at the back fence, actually. One moment while this is loading. She's really happy because there's like a half inch of snow on the ground. So she's standing out by the back fence. Oh, nope, now here she is. Hi. Is it cold out there? Yeah. Really, really cold. Yeah. You're happy about it, huh? It's like, it's okay. This is okay. Nikki, your breath stinks. Your breath stinks today. What did you get into out there? Oh my gosh, it didn't stink that bad earlier. Where are her thingamajiggers? There we go. Back up. Back up. Whoa. Which one are you? Are you this one? Yes, you are. No, back. I'll have to hide myself for a moment. There we go. Since you're being good. Can you give me a pause up. Give me a proper pause up. Pause up. Oh, is it too high? Try again. Oh, there you go. Good girl. Back, back. We can go back outside. Yeah, she's she's pretty cute. That's for sure. Whoa, I got tiny. Why did I get tiny? Oh, because I did the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. I'm like, wait a minute. Why am I so small? <laughs> you love her so much. Yeah, she's she's a good girl. Absolutely. All right. 
Oh good, it auto-saved. Oh my god. That makes me feel so much better. I was really, really worried for a minute there. Okay, we're gonna have to do our walk of faith here again. But that's okay. I wouldn't try jumping if I were you. He couldn't control everything after all. I remember when this bridge collapsed not long before you came. It's a relief to see how time and nature together could outplay even him. How an unforeseen accident can ruin a life's work. It's saved, but if it I hadn't, we would be all the way joy. back at the um, crystals in the light maze. So this is uh, much better. I think I may be able to guide you through, but first, I need to show you something. Now, follow me. Okay. You will not fall. I know. I've done this before. Don't look down. I want to. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't listen. Just follow me. Trust me. No need to hurry. You must trust me. Trust me, no! <laughs> this but her voice is so sultry. Leads to our sanctuary. He removed the crystals to darken these tunnels. Let's have some... light. I suppose he wanted to hide this place from you. Perhaps it's not far it. from here. Okay. Our steps are so much more confident on stone. Okay, and this time we know that that's there. And then we have the blue crystals up I here. I brought him here once too. Surprisingly, it is one of the only places he didn't ruin since then. But I doubt he kept it intact simply out of respect. Oh, for a moment she didn't let us come through. That was interesting. This is the place we once called the Great Hall of the Amajat. The Shrine of the Seekers. You must look around and find some blue crystal powder to cast into the fire. Yes, and hopefully we can do that this time. I do kind of like that we got a blue screen when we smashed the blue crystals. Have you found any blue crystal powder yet? Oh, shush. You couldn't have left me with blue crystal powder to make this easier on us both. We need blue crystal powder. Mm-hmm. These hold. We dump out our blue crystals. Place our bowl. I'm not sure why that twists things. Yay, that worked better. Computer's still on. Oh, okay. 
There we go. One bowl of blue crystal Good. powder. Now use the crane up there to throw the powder into the fire. Use the crane to throw the powder? I can't just like stand here and put the... I'm not putting it in that fire, am I? Folks, I think we're about Use to go on a crane. journey. Um, that top step was a doozy. Now, it is time I told you the story of my people. It is time you learned the truth about this world. The Dalmar yes. was a great, noble, and prosperous civilization. They were people of peace, a thriving society of wisdom and art. Then, everything changed. At the dawn of the Third Age, we were attacked by the shadows. Over the years, our colonies have fallen one by one. The shadows have slaughtered our settlers without mercy. They filled our hearts with terrible fear. In the great halls of Unnatko, the capital city of our world, the Circle of Elders have chosen three of our best people. Roran, the most skilled warrior. Theodore, the brightest of all scholars. And... A devoted shaman, me. We were called the Amajat, the Seekers. Our goal was to find a legendary place of great power, Quernalok. We embarked on a journey to face the unknown and to find what was hidden. This quest has forged a strong friendship between the three of us. Over the years, we visited countless worlds. We became exhausted and shattered under the weight of the responsibility. We learned that the shadows had reached the outer walls of Unatko. We almost lost faith, but we couldn't stop. As we kept searching, we found a world that astonished all of us. This very world. Here, we found what we needed the most. Time. Time to find a way. A way to save our people. Our worries trapped us here, knowing that our home is only safe if we stay on this island. The search was over. We knew that finding this island in our time of need was not an accident. It gave us hope. And we started to believe that this world was Quernalok. Over centuries, we perfected our expertise. We, the Amajat, have become idols of strength, intellect, and discipline. But it was not enough. The infinite time we have been given made us obsessed with the overcoming urge to save our people. As we kept training and learning, pursuing power slowly became our only passion. We had risen above the boundaries of the body and mind. Eventually, we almost forgot the very principle of our mission. And then, I had a vision of our people. I saw their suffering. At that moment, I understand we had become the very power we were sent to search for. It was time for us to head home. I knew we were prepared. We were ready to face them. But the shadows were no longer my worst fear. Okay. I was afraid of what we had become. I was afraid of facing reality. We appeared at the edge of doom. Most of our great city was burning in flames. Unatko, our home, was about to fall. And then, we vanquished our enemies. There was no fight. 
they couldn't fight back. We cleansed our city of the shadows. A war that had lasted years ended in seconds. We were the saviors. We were celebrated like gods. And that's exactly how we felt. But we knew that the people we saved were not really our people anymore. We no longer belonged here. We felt we were... more. After witnessing our power, people lost their faith in the Council. We, the Amajat, have taken their place. But having fulfilled our destiny, the strong bond between the three of us started to fade. A new era has begun. The era of division and conflict. As our disagreements became stronger, we turned against each other. This caused the people to take sides. A war has erupted from within. A war we were too proud to stop. Chaos rumbled across the streets of Unatko. We watched our once thriving society fall apart. Our home was destroyed. All because of us. Because of what we have become. I couldn't live with myself. I couldn't bear the great emptiness I felt anymore. I left what remained of my world for one final journey. Following the path we once walked upon, I found Quernalog once again. But I did not come back for its power. I came back to face the curse that made me forget who I was. I spent centuries meditating on my past mistakes, trying to find a way to make up for what I'd done. By accepting the loss of all attachments that kept me in the physical world, I managed to ascend to a new form of existence. In this way, I will never lose myself again, and I can guard this place for eternity. Well, that is quite the vision. He didn't want you to know about our heritage. He didn't want you to see how the power of the island can ruin an entire civilization. He too wants to ignore it, but you must know the truth. He cannot accept the destructive power of this knowledge that he worships above all else. No civilization could contain this kind of power, especially not a single person. It is time for you to return to his path. I will meet you back at the entrance. Okay, are you ready to carry me across the broken bridge? Enjoying the music too with the chanting. Now you must continue following his guidance. I will help you get back on his path. Okay. He was the first person who found this island after we left. And you must be the last person to ever be here. Oh, that makes me feel good. Um... Am I supposed to go the way you went? Am I just able to fly anywhere? So bridges are meaningless. We can fly now. Hang on, we haven't had a shower in what seems like days. Even though time doesn't pass here. Ah. Okay.
Hopefully we can fly again later because we do have to get back to the middle point after this, I believe. You have to go alone now, but soon we will meet again. Okay. Bye. Area discovered. The right tunnel. Okay, we have a broken green crystal, which I believe these green crystal fragments we're finding are the portal. Uh, we've got a fishing pole. Oh, we're going through the pipes. Okay. Pinball. Curious. All right. Here we go. Flashing light warning. In three, two, one. Or not. Okay. Uh... That's unexpected. Oh. Oh. It is pinball. Bye. We may need this again. <laughs> okay, we have three buttons. Only one active. Okay, well that was easy enough to get through. Lower mechanics. All right. Just a second, I'm gonna make sure that Nika goes into the house. I think she's back in the backyard again. Nomi was scratching at the door. She's like, where is Nika? I'm all alone out here. Nomi's a cat. She just really, really likes Nika. Okay. Well, these are labeled. Start. Reset. Three, one. Let's sketch that. My computer may be 160 degrees, but outside it's freezing. <laughs> so with the door open, I'm a little chilly. All right, we've got A, B, C. Uh-huh. And a button. Levers we can move. The lights are in place. These do not currently move. There's a pattern here. Lights up there. What else do we have? It's kind of ominous. Lights that look like eyes, but also a shield. Oh, I know where we are. This entire game is ominous. What do you mean? <laughs> well, yeah, that too. There's a door. And all we have to do is break into the bank vault. Okay. We won't be spinning that before we know what it does. Seems easy enough, yeah. Ooh. We've now reached the dark side of the moon. 
These are the lower levels of the mechanics. It was here I learned that all the attributes of the different minerals could be harnessed by dividing the energy beam of the white crystal. The shortage of crystalline materials no longer hindered my work. With this knowledge, I was even able to isolate green crystal beams, the exact same energy ray that the ancient gateways use. Oh. This could suggest that there is a connection between this world and the origin of the ancient gateways. Focusing on my work helped me deal with the unbearable loneliness that started to consume my mind. Ruth conquers all. Okay. So if we can find a prism, then this crystal becomes powerful. And the lower mechanics. Mechanics is a room that was up at the top of the island. So uh, this room here, we're now underneath it. And the reason why I got excited is there was a puzzle in that room that we didn't know how to solve. We didn't have any clues or keys or anything. We couldn't, we actually could not interact with it. Um, but we could touch it and then the room shifted and it dropped through the floor. And so now... That's where we are. But are there any other clues before we start pushing buttons? That area up there, so once those open... We might still not be able to get to it. The puzzle might be inside of here. Yeah, it's in that... that room in there. Interesting. Okay. So, three, two, one, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, two. Okay, this one makes sense to me. This will spin in some way. There's a one on it now. Put you over here at one. What else can I do with you? Nothing for the moment. Oh, I can change the numbers. only choose one. Negative three. Oh, that changed. Okay. I'm throwing in random numbers. I have not tried to figure out what they do yet. Uh, that just lined up to something. If we got lucky and the door opened, I highly doubt that that would happen, but <laughs> that would be amazing.
Oh, it did, but it opened bars. Okay. And so does this side not have bars? This side does not have bars. So we need the opposite of what we just did. Which also means I need to figure out what these numbers are doing. <laughs> okay. That was negative three, negative one, one, two. So zero. Oh, hang on. Inside. Middle two. Inside and outer middle. Outer two. 2002. Accepted. Uh huh. I should have put the numbers in exactly opposite, but uh, reset that. Because, yeah, that did not open. We need everything aligned to one. So this one. Let's just try it with a two. One. I highly doubt this will do it. That'd be too easy. And I don't want to change these yet because I don't know what they do. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, nothing aligned, so all of these numbers are bad. Flip that to negative two. That's the inner two. Zero, because I don't want the one on the inside to move at all, if I can help it. Now you... Negative two... Yes. But the inside one, of course, still turned. So outside. And this one's currently negative one, but it can't be. Oh, yes, it can. Or at least now it can. And then the outer two is currently negative three. It has to be something else. in position two not. Wait, is it the two lit up that are not in position? Yes. That is upside down. Okay, I do not have a value in this spot that will work at the moment. So one of these other ones is wrong. Does one count as a 90 degree rotation clockwise? That's what I'm thinking. Which would mean 2 and negative 2 would be the same.
and I would need to add one more to each of these to get them into position somehow. Did I freaking chose random numbers and got it to work on the wrong side for the first spin? Like... <laughs> really did not expect that. <laughs> Okay, this first one is the two inner tracks. Let's put a two here. So then I need the inside most one. Manic zombie! Hello, hello! How's it going? How was your stream? I had you up for a little bit earlier before my computer decided to do a blue screen dump out for a minute. We'll uh, pop over to the chatting screen to officially say hello. Yes, I saw you were playing some Baldur's... I think your title said Baldur's Gay, <laughs> which is perfectly fine. How are you doing? How was your stream? Of course, if you need to raid and run, please, please feel free to do so. Um, we're always appreciative of a raid and glad you're trusting us with your community tonight. That's the correct name, of course. I love that. We'll be playing some Baldur's Gate next month. Um, we are actually partnering up. It's officially been announced on other channels, so I feel we can announce it here too. Um, either on Tuesdays or Thursdays, we're working out the final details, uh, but I'll be playing it alongside of MX Northwest, Forever Julia, and AeroS. So we'll be doing four player Baldur's Gate and we will be alternating between our channels um, Unless they get streamed together, figured out really, really quickly. Uh, it's been pretty broken, so so we decided we'll we'll hop channels. Um, so we can do it. You had four players, but couldn't with one of your folks. Totally understandable. Yeah. Uh, GOG does not work with Steam. Oh. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. No crossplay with PC. Oh, right. Yes. We're all um, we're all playing PC, so that will that will work well. Yeah, we've all got it. Um, do not get mods. Yeah, we're not gonna mod before we play it. Um, it messes up MP games, of course. Yeah, I can still see your chats. Yep, 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 yep. And yes, I can see. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, you don't go anywhere. Chat is, um, chat has an entire monitor dedicated to itself, so it's not a small screen for me. Um, I, I was laughing with my coworkers earlier, and one of them I had to show her my setup because I used to have five monitors connected to this PC. Now I have two computers in here, so I have seven monitors. <laughs> it's too many. <laughs> You want five of them in two PCs? Yeah, absolutely. Seven, yes. So I have on the gaming PC, right now, the drawing tablet is a monitor and it doesn't have anything on it at the moment because I closed Photoshop and notes and all of that. I have two um, 1080 widescreen monitors on this computer. Uh, make sure that, yeah, that, yeah, that's what I have on this one. Um, and then a 40-inch 4K TV. Your partners have 44-inch monitors. That counts as free monitors. Yeah. I was explaining that to my boss yesterday. I was like, he asked me, he goes, what monitor should I get? And I was like, how's your budget? And are you a one-monitor person or multi-monitor? And he's like, I'm a one-monitor person. I'm, I'm monogamous with my monitors. And I was like, in that case, get yourself a curved 50-inch Samsung. <laughs> Like trying to talk him into that like monster monitor that rotates and like can stand up over the top of you while you're sitting at your desk. I was like, get one of those. It has virtual inputs to make it three monitors on one HDMI cable. Like this will be perfect. I'm like, it's out of my budget. If I had the budget to buy that, I'd buy another car. But <laughs> I'm like for you, yeah, go for it. Um, but then the other three monitors are my laptop and two other monitors. So I usually keep one vertical for like 
reading through documents, chat, Discord. Um, actually, the vertical monitor on this PC is running the VTuber model, chat, Discord, and Spotify. So I've got a bunch over there. You got yours on sale. That's fantastic. I love that. I still would have a really tough time justifying it. Hey, Chai. Welcome in and thanks for the lurk. Um, yes, the VTuber I use um, was recommended by SkyZ. And it's just running through VTube Studio. The model is an Etsy model that's a customizable model. Um, it basically just lets you choose the hair, accessories, clothes, stuff like that. Um, and then the hat and the bangles are actually from our channel mascot. Uh, whoops, let me alt tab out here. I don't think that I currently have... Oh, maybe I do. I do. So this is actually the channel mascot. Um, so a friend designed her for me based on some uh, discussions on creating a character. And so we have a few different versions of her, but the hat and bangles are actually captured right from the artwork. Um, and eventually I will do a little bit more customization to actually have a custom VTube model, but for the moment it just wasn't practical. And this one um, is only like 25 US dollars uh, on Etsy and it gives you a bunch of different customization options. So it's really nice. It doesn't have like hand movement. Um, so it's customized in as much as I chose which hair front and back to use. Um, I chose to put the bow on and then recolored some of the outfits and items, things like that. Uh, but the but the model itself is just a quick, easy purchase. And um, so you can see like the shoes, the purple, that's custom. Um, the color of the stockings is custom. Like I recolored the skirt and shirt, things like that. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I'd be happy to, to message you on Discord. I don't know if we are currently connected on there. Um, there is my link, but if you just look me up, I'm on the same name as well in Discord. Uh, well, almost all of the socials, there's that button too. So they're all out there. Um, same there. Excellent. Well, I will be able to find you then pretty straightforward. If not an O, but a zero. Perfect. Fantastic. So we are trying to figure out this puzzle right now. We're playing some Kern Undying Thought, and uh, we're trying to get into this room right now. So we need all of these little circles here, the two black circles and the two white circles to line up with their openings facing towards the one. Um, I don't yet know what these do, and maybe they play into it. The music is great. This is actually the game soundtrack. Uh, I'm not playing any special music at the moment. The music I have for the playlist is all a little out there at the moment, but <laughs> we do have some chill playlists too. Um, yeah, we're trying to get the door open. The first numbers I pop popped in here I accidentally got it all to spin to the two, which unfortunately has a big barrier over it. There's some big bars welded into place. So it's like, of course you would do that to us. Um, if that circle thing was one of the clues from the letter I had earlier, let's take a look. That was L. Did we have circles? I know we had some way back when, but those I think are too far back. Because these were a different set of clues. This is an interesting one. The opportunity was given I was given was meant to be shared among the worthy. My goal has become to readjust the gateway and make this world more easily approachable. Although no one has ever been able to even scratch an ancient gateway before, using the purified power I discovered, I managed to disassemble it and get access to its crystals. Doing so, I also shut down the gateway temporarily, 
I imprisoned myself in this world for the sake of science. I had to make this sacrifice. To form a testing field for this type of rare mineral, I had to demol demolish several Dolmarian buildings. Okay, so that was where he sunk buildings and took things apart. I prepared everything to slow you down, to force you to understand everything I once understood. I want you to know that this journey I called you upon is more important than you, or even me. The success or failure of your quest will profoundly affect the whole world. I can only hope you are worth all my efforts. Okay. And there's the notebook. So those were the numbers I used to get the circles into the wrong position. Negative three, negative one, one, and two. And flipping them over doesn't actually help. But flipping them... Oh, we don't have a positive three, so we can't do anything else with that. Okay. So we're kind of just guessing here, but we know what we need to do, and there's only so many options we can come up with here. So if we reset this and start it, we currently have the outside is correct, and that's the only one. The outside is on this one. And this one. So the outside turned three. Positive. So that's one, two, three. Yes, it appears to be 90 degrees. This is my first time playing through it. Yeah. Yeah, I do mostly first playthroughs. There's a few games like Hollow Knight that I replay a lot. But, but this one, mostly first. Uh, like Tears of the Kingdom... Um, especially puzzle games. It's hard to go back and play puzzle games unless they have randomizers. Okay, so the outside is three, and that's correct. The next one... We need this to have a one. Or a total count of one. Right now it has negative three. And one. But we need the outside to have three. So if negative three instead of one, we change that to two. That will work for layer two. Now our outside moving two and we need it to move three so we can put a one here this one is our two inner levels let me make sure we've got outside needs three one two and three. Level two needs one, so we have negative three and two. Okay, so in theory, those three are set. And this one is the inner two. You join the server? Thank you so much. Uh, most of the roles will work in the welcome channel if you want any roles. We don't use at everyone or at here except on very, very rare occasions, so you don't have to worry about that. You're off to bed because your back hurts. Oh, definitely definitely get that rest i hope your back feels better i have bad sciatica myself so laying down in bed is so important i hope that it feels better when you wake up in the morning and thanks again for raiding over and yeah i will definitely uh send you a message okay the top one or the the level three does need to be a two, and this one needs to add up to a zero or a four. 
what other ones? Okay, you have level two with one. I need you to have a two, and I don't have that option. And the innermost one is currently at a negative three, and I need it to be a four. Okay, hang on. If this is a one, that's going to put it here. This had a negative one, it's gonna go back to where it is. A negative two would be here, and a zero would leave it in place. The third one has gone negative three. Let's try a negative one here. Yeah, that didn't do it. We even get close. Outer one's aligned. And the inner one's aligned. The two in the middle are not. Can I move? I can move just those, can I? No. The two I need to move, I cannot move together. Of course! You fell asleep after work when you made pizza, but you're back. You know... A good pizza will do that to you sometimes. What is the default state? Nothing. Oh. That's the default state. <laughs> so when we got here, these didn't have any numbers in them. But of the rings... I should just do... Note camera. We're about to run into ads, so I will get the note camera set up. I have to move the drawing tablet out of the way, because it's currently sitting where notes would go. I guess I could just lay it down flat. Put the notes on top of it. We'll ignore the irony of, I'm going to put a notepad on top of a drawing tablet. Of course, I have to find a real pencil or pen. I can't use my computer pen. I'll just bounce around a little bit. Okay. Oh. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Note camera. There you are. Are your boundaries today? Okay. There we go. We've got a little box here. And you can control one and two, three and four, one and three, two and four. Let's take a look. And now we don't have to worry about toggling in and out of the game. So, options for the rings. Oh. I'm like, what just happened? But I know what happened. I moved behind the camera. So it... It's headache inducing? That will happen sometimes. Yes, these games can be tricky. So we have one and two. Oh, I move my camera, of course. Um, four is one and two. 
three is two and four. Is teeny tiny. <laughs> There's the ads. That's okay. We're just going to be taking notes. So everything will be just what's on the screen here. Uh, two is one and three. And one is three and four. And yep, that's backwards. Attention! Coming soon to a chat near you. In a world of puzzles and camaraderie, the chat is abuzz with excitement. Raiders from Manic Zombies Wonderland join the fray, bringing tales of Baldur's Gate 3 and Tech Envy with their giant monitors. Amidst the chaos, Iolatius and crew navigate Kern's enigmatic island, deciphering clues with the help of eagle-eyed viewers as we lurk in gardens and debate digital consent. One thing is clear, this stream's blend of mystery and community is unmatched. Join us, your next clue awaits. I am so glad that you're not getting ads. <laughs> okay, and so then the rings We'll just draw the four circles. And yep, they have all of the accuracy that you would expect from freehand circles. Uh, and we'll hit our reset button real quick. Okay. So, the inside is down. Two is up. Or three is up. I numbered them one, two, three, four on the way in. Then so two is here. And three is here. And if we give each of these numbers a position, going by clock, it'd be one, two, three, and four. So, uh, let's just try to get each one of them individually. It's the Target logo! <laughs> we should have known. All along, this was just a big marketing ploy. <laughs> Way to go with the long game, Target. So, let's focus on just the outside one first. And I believe that because it's in position four, we can either go one, two, three, and get it to here. You think you have it? You probably do. Welcome back from the ads. As you can see above my head here, we've taken some notes. Um, we are trying to figure out this puzzle. And so we are basically saying we've got positions one, two, three, and four, with the rings from the outside in one, two, three, and four. We also know that there are four spots. I've written this backwards because, of course, I did. But uh, this little machine in front of us here, when we move this slider from left to right, the leftmost controls rings three and four. Number two controls rings one and three. Number three controls rings two and four. And number four controls rings one and two. We need to put numbers in here to add up to the right amount of numbers to spin these all to point into the location of position three. So four is there already. So basically we need four to land on a zero or a four. So I'm going to try to get that one first and see if we can find out where it is. So right now we have a negative one. And the other one that controls that is this one. And it's currently a negative three. So in theory, a negative three and a negative one is a negative four. And it should go all the way around the circle and end up right back in this position. And it doesn't move, so that is correct. 
ring three needs two because it is currently facing up. So over here, nope, that is the wrong one. This one controls that one, but it's a negative one. And if we changed it, it would change the innermost ring. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to look at this one that is currently a one. And we need to make this a two or a negative two. So let's try it with a two. It did not go into position. Negative two? Oh, wait. That wasn't what I need, because this is a negative one. Zero? It's only going to move at one, right? In the wrong direction? Yeah. What else can I do to make this work? This was a two and this was a zero. I can't get two zeros. I could one negative one and cancel out the movement on the inner one. That's still not ideal. Oh, I could zero here because I have one in position and that's the only one that I have one in position and here I want that to end at two worked before because I was making four. If I flip these. So now I'm going negative three on that one. And here I go negative three. I'm now over here. So I need a positive one. Boom! There we go. Didn't even have to mess with the last one. We have an open door. And before I run away, Samsara, did you want to check your work? How'd you do? Let me write this down really quick. Negative three, one, negative one, two. Okay, yep, I'm ready for your solution. I need to go get my numbers, sorry. So negative one, positive two, zero. Uh, you've got a plus two and a two without a negative on it, is that meant to be positive? Negative two at the second, okay. Let's see what we've got. No such luck, it spun a little wrong on that one. We actually ended up with everything going a little bit to the sides. But that's all right. 
I like that you took the effort, and... I wouldn't have gotten it without writing it down, so... Watch, it changes the answer on me. It was worth a shot. Of course, we can't go up the stairs now, because that first one is just a little bit bigger than our foot. Okay, and here it is. So, we have this key. It's right here. I don't remember picking it up, but we have it. So there were some cool puzzles. There's these that were these really cool keys. We did this one earlier. This was like a Sudo Sudoku kind of thing. Um, we have a button in here we're about to push. We have that. I'm worried what happens when we push this button. So before we go anywhere, Lower mechanics saved. Okay. Okay, we just lit that up. That lit up a button on the other side of the room. But the other side of the wall is locked. So how do we get over there now? these bars I don't have a way in oh unless we're meant to do some form of maybe teleportation in there <clears throat> he did call out that he could use the power of the white crystal to get a green beam sent into somewhere. seeing anywhere that there's a spot for that. That was our clue for the puzzle from from before. glowing clues for us anywhere? <clears throat> oh, we still have that area up there, too. another one of those like really really secret things um but looking through that window maybe something with that
let's see. Well, we don't have the prism, so we can't isolate those beams ourselves. Oh, did that open up this by chance? No. Would be too easy if it did. I haven't messed with this at all. So let's see what we can do over here. A, B, C. These are not lit up at all. Okay, we can't push that button. That just changed the rules. What is changing? That's the same. So then what are you doing? talked about the oh that one can't move down only this one can oh we need to move this bar how do we do that Activate. It was just the one time. And it doesn't appear to have changed. I didn't hear any mysterious clicks like we were cracking a safe there either. What did you say in your last letter? These are the lower levels of the mechanics. It was here I learned the attributes of the different minerals it could be harnessed by dividing the energy beam of the white crystal. The sh shortage of crystalline materials no longer hindered my work. With this knowledge, I was able to isolate green crystal beams, the exact same energy ray that the ancient gateways used. This could suggest there is a connection between this world and the origin of the ancient gateways. Focusing on my work helped me deal with the unbearable loneliness that started to consume my mind. Truth conquers all. Mary's just complaining about her power. His letters have turned into more ranting than clues at this point. But what is this doing? Because nothing is clearly not the answer. Oh. 
Wow. That I was not expecting. Okay. in here then no we can't go down there now maybe we can open it but the question is can we actually get in there because this door is still very much locked That brings it back. And gives us the ability to power it again. Can you move to anywhere else? No, that's the only way you can move. That opened up all the way to the top so we can see all the way back to the telescope or the uh, light beam that we used for opening up the symbols. But I still don't think that opened this door. No. And it's not giving us a green crystal or anything like that because that's just the room with the stairs, which are currently stairs to the roof. Unless we can open that door. I'm not sure how that helps us. Wait. Oh, wait a second. We do... Oh no, I want to put that back where it was. I want to try to send this room back up. And then bring the stairs down instead. So... Go this way. So that puts you into there. And then... That bring the can't bring you I can't bring it down. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, we got this key out of here before. We had to light up all the panels around the room. Of course, they're not lit up anymore because now they're in the basement. We exposed the stairway, which before took us up to the telescope. 
this was not there before. Will you open a door? Oh, you're a gear wheel. Okay. Yes, you will open the door. Okay, excellent. Door is open. Now we probably need to turn that again to the other settings. Let's run up anyway, just in case, before we go messing with things again. Because, yeah, now that door is right here. Okay, perfect. Oh, what was that? You did nothing for now. Okay. There's another gear. once we get inside there might be able to reach out the window and grab it so you we can't do anything with at the moment so we need to send this back up to be room. I'm getting close to wrapping because it's almost midnight here. I know it gets pretty late when I'm streaming these later nights. It's a lot easier on the weekends. Oh, it's white or yet orange, A, B, or C positions. Oh my gosh. Why have I been thinking this was like some complicated puzzle? <laughs> okay, and then our numbers. Negative three, one, negative one, two was to open it this way. I am hoping that the notes we took earlier Do you see this? When did I take that picture? <laughs> Is that my accidental way of figuring out the answer before before I knew what the answer was? Um, maybe I, I took it at some point in the midst of all of this because I think I originally did negative three zero I'm going to have to recalculate here so now I want them all to go to the top position so I need ring one to move positive one Ring two, I need to move, oh, or negative three. Uh, this one would be plus three or negative one. Ring three, I need zero or four. And ring four, I need two or negative two. Starting with the two inner rings. Remembering that two I Chai Latte Nebula coming out a lurk with a raid. What are you doing? What were you up to over there? 
being all sneaky, popping in while you're streaming. Hi, Chai. Come bring in tea and shiny rocks. I could use both of those right now. Um, I forgot to say this when Manic Zombie raided earlier, but uh, there's an ace of hearts over here in the chat. And if you're not yet following them, there is also a heart up at the top of chat uh, for you to click to follow Chai Latte Nebula, the geologist uh, and puzzle gamer um, playing some house flipper tonight. I know you're doing some Sims, some cozy times. I know last night you were doing a little uh, untitled goose games. So welcome in Chai Raiders. I hope you're having a wonderful night. We are, as usual, banging our head against the wall with some puzzles. We've got our notes up here. And so right now on the note cam, we have this lovely circle uh, of these different um, rings which correspond to this big Let me move the camera this thing over here um and you can see this big metal wall where there are four rings and they spin into position that opens a door and we need to open a door on the other side of it uh that currently has metal bars but then this piece the whole room lifts up moves over there and we can get into it on the other side so that is our current uh, mission that we're on. You just finished doing a bit of House Flipper, which was the vibe you needed tonight. Love that. Hope you had a good time with the houses and got to design something cute. Um, we are trying to figure out what numbers to use. So right now we're on the two inner ones and our options are negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one or two and we have two positive twos earlier i accidentally got this puzzle right and now i don't remember what numbers i pushed i just kind of randomly chose some numbers originally so it was like maybe this one was negative one Let's put that there drop that there i kind of went left or right so i think it might have been that it was not that uh, my week has been good so far. It's Thursday. Today was my first day where I actually felt like I was actually working. Um, so that's good. Earlier, the leftovers were 202. Thank you, Samsara. Negative 202. Like that. Boom. Thank you for that amazing note. <laughs> Chai has also finished painting the roses before the queen has arrived. Well done. Oh, that's kind of interesting. The answers were... Negative three, one, negative one, two, and negative three, negative one, one, two. 202, approved. The HTML code. Uh huh. Uh, technically, it's not an HTML code, it's a server response code. Uh, uh, 200 is okay. <laughs> 502 is server did not respond. Not that I've been dealing with a whole bunch of these errors or something. There we go. It should be there by the time we get up there. This is where a lot of people would just look at me and go, nerd. <laughs> oh, is this here before? That must be the gears. There's one of the gears right there. Oh, we need to get the other gear in here. Okay. That whole arm move. What do I do with this? I want the gear. Give it to me. I want it. It's mine. <laughs> do I need to bring the stairs back? 
You're a little sleepy beast, so you will do a little lurk as you tidy up with some self-care. Sounds like a wonderful plan. What am I supposed to do with that? I think I'm supposed to put these wheels in here. Yeah. And we have two of them. Of course, we need the last one from right there. Now, how do we get to it is the other question. Can we take that one? No. And that doesn't work until we have the last one. Oh! That's going to be our final piece right there. Okay. So how do we get to this gear? We bring the stairs back down and then we can walk over there. That's what it is. Okay. So B, yes, C to B. And then we're gonna take to see. Where did the wires from the cargo 404 brain not found? HTTP, not HTML. It's been a hot day and brains got pizza lethargy. The pizza lethargy is the best. Now I think I can reach over and grab that. Um, I 100% understand that, though. It's a slot machine! <laughs> Alright, let's gamble! Sketch the slot machine! I mean, this does not feel like a puzzle. <laughs> gear, 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 and gear. There we go. Woohoo! Time to crack this safe. Whoa! 46? 46? Eleven? Thirty-seven? 77. And are you now open? You are. There's our piece. Okay. Hardest puzzle. Hold until you win. Uh huh. Okay. 46. Seventy-seven. What are you doing? Okay, 
Okay, zero. Let's start there. Forty-six. We're gonna go this way this time. Very gentle. Forty-six. Now we want eleven. And thirty-seven. And seventy-seven. Oh, I have to set in the numbers. Okay, I see. So it doesn't matter what direction and all of that. Forty-six. Eleven. That's good, because that precision was going <laughs> to probably not be good enough. Seventy-seven. Oh, I know where we are. Open sesame indeed. So this is actually where we started out in these tunnels. And this is the tower to go back up, although the gate is locked. So there is no going back. Oh, we don't need to go back. We need to go to the center. Get our elevator back, go back down to the middle of the big uh, circular platform where the tunnels are. And we have piece number three of the puzzle. outside to see if it has started snowing again. All right, gear piece three. I assume this is now going to open. Oh, uh, that's a big button. We are moving. I thought it was rising, but no, we are falling. <laughs> no, no, no worries at all. I know it's really, really late. Go get some sleep. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, we will be back with Detroit Become Human uh, tomorrow night or tonight. Late is a frame of mind, right? When you're finding solutions. Um, but no, we'll be back with Detroit Become Human um, after I get off work uh, tonight. It's it's technically still yesterday for like five more minutes. <laughs> so Friday night, uh, we'll be we'll be streaming. And then as long as I stay home this weekend, uh, Sunday we'll actually do a painting stream. Because we haven't done one in a while. Because I keep not being home on Sundays.
Oh my gosh. The reservoir came. Wow. Count you in for that? Sounds great. We'll see you then. Until then, get some great sleep. Okay. We have a button. Noise coming from there. Yes, it is. We have noises. Are we listening to the crystal? Oh, we are. Okay. So we're gonna have some audio clues. Weasel! Hello, how are you? It's so good. It's right in line with Mist and Riven and all of those. Um, it has been... Tonight has been great. Like, the last few times we've had a few things that... I've needed some serious assistance on. Uh, and we've been lucky enough to have some friends in chat just at the right time to help out and give some gentle, gentle nudges in the right direction. Hello, King. Ate a raw egg. Is there a reason you chose that? I know I see that people do it like workout outfits and or workout outfits, um, workout meals and like, oh, we're going to have three raw eggs for breakfast. I'm like, no, thank you. Will you fry mine, please? I hope you're all right, though. Okay. What are these going to do? I don't specifically know, and I don't know what the symbols map to. Oh, there's more down here. Oh! Symbols. You've done it. It's kind of gross and slimy, right? What if that's salmonella? You should be all right. Um, I do understand, though, if uh, there's a little little food poisoning or a day of not feeling good. I need to take a sketch of this. Four is fast forward. Eight is rewind. Seven is play. Three is confused. Five is play backwards. Six is try to fast forward but stutter. The hospital isn't too far away, so that could be a fun experience. Yeah! You can make new friends! Two is a square and one is like a wave. So these are in position one, two, three, four, five, and have the dots corresponding to one, two, three, four, five. These have the dots to match.
and the single crystal, which is two, is in the first position. Okay, definitely gonna go wind down for the night. Good night, Shy. Always a pleasure. Get some good sleep. So that one is one. Maybe. There's only five, so we have eight. Okay, what if we change this? It doesn't change. But why make eight if there's only five? Oh, but there is a clue of eight. These are sound waves. So is this one seven? This one, with the five crystal cluster, I'm guessing is one. And that one was five. So five should be one. These two, the two crystals, are four, and the three crystals are eight. The two crystals, one is four. Four is eight. Okay, that's, I think, seven. It's the reverse play button. No, five.
So that one should be seven. Seven. And two, which I currently have a one, I think is five. First one did not open. <clears throat> that might be two instead. open and that door is locked and I think this is a great place to call it a night we are looking at a door now back up and hit the save button and let's find somewhere to go because I need to go and either work or sleep one of the two Oh, we'll cancel for a moment. Okay, it's saved. Exit. Alrighty, what is going on out there tonight? What is going on in the Twitch lands of the people who didn't have their computer crash and are still lurking in different places? I did. That was really straightforward. There were a few little, like, struggle points, but not, like, a frustration struggle point, which is great. Um, who is doing what? We actually have a friend doing some house flipper, some lethal company. More Baldur's Gate. Of course, folks are doing Baldur's Gate all over the place. Another friend doing Lethal Company. Let's see. Anybody who I haven't rated in a while or... Hmm. What? Oh my gosh. One of the people that I know IRL is currently playing The Sims. I'm like... That's always a surprise. Why am I being picky about this? Oh, there are a bunch of people doing Lethal Company tonight. I know. Let me check something real quick. Oh, there's only two of us from the guild. We're getting out of here in the ads. Um, I'm not going to wait for those to finish. We're just going to get on out of here. Um, let's go. and see one of the guildies.
who doesn't have their Twitch linked, so it wasn't showing me that they were online. We're going to go see Twyla, who is playing some Lies of P. So if you want to grab one of those regular raid messages, we'll just take those over. And uh, yeah. Oh, apparently I still have the Viato tube still running. Get out of here. We don't need you right now. You're in the way. Okay, we're getting out of here. Uh, Sam, sorry, sorry about your head. Keeping it and losing it. Uh, Chuck, congratulations on keeping it. Amy, I know you also kept your head um, earlier on in the stream. Thank you, Amy, as well for the resub tonight that's not in the credits because of the reboot. I know we missed out on some stuff. But uh, yeah, we will be back tomorrow night or tonight, whichever way you want to look at it, uh, playing some more um, words. Uh, no. <laughs> some more Detroit Become Human. Um, and then hopefully Sunday for more painting and Monday for probably some tech stuff and more Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so yeah, looking like a normal weekend, at least for now, always subject to change, but it's looking normalish. Um, thank you for everyone for hanging out tonight. Uh, thank you, Manic Zombie for the raid. Thank you, Chai for the raid. It's been so much fun. The puzzles were great. I am looking forward to getting back into this and we'll probably, probably do it again next Thursday. We shall see. Until then, we're going to get out of here. We'll see you again soon on all of your channels. For the many of you that stream on all the places we hang out together and hopefully back here again soon. And until then, bye.